This is the U.S. Meal Cold Weather, or the MCW. It weighs 1 pound 3 ounces, or 538 grams, and it contains about 1,540 calories. The MCW has between 2 and 300 more calories than an MRE. Now three of them are issued per day, and each one requires about 34 ounces of water to fully rehydrate. The MCW, just like the US MRE, comes 12 to a case. Let's check it out. Peelable seal failed. Okay, so right off the bat, got our accessory packet. This one was produced the 127th day of 2018. Patriotic sugar cookies. Chocolate protein drink. Same one as in the MRE pizza menu. This is the newest meal cold weather menu. Breakfast skillet with hash browns and scrambled eggs mixed with pork sausage, peppers, and onions. Look at that. Nice freeze dried mane. Got a standard cheese spread. Granola with milk and blueberries. Nice. And then some plain tortillas and your standard US MRE spoon. Okay, so let's check out that accessory packet. Get your standard toilet paper, matches, sugar, a wet nap, hot sauce, some creamer, chewing gum, and then, look at that, William James Coffee Company, Bill's Brew, instant coffee. Okay, so there's everything laid out. All right. So let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, so let's first start off by rehydrating the breakfast skillet. There's this tear notch up here. These things never work right, it always just kinda, so we'll just do it this way. Nice hiss. Wow, look at that. Look at those hash browns. I'm gonna have to try one dry because that just looks amazing. That reminds me of the freeze-dried hash browns from 1981 to 1987 MREs. It's like the same thing. They brought it back and just broke it up into little bits. It calls for eight ounces. Your best bets add seven. All right, so while that's doing its thing, Check out that coffee. Yeah, that's spray dried. Look at this. Very fine granule. I'm not going to use the creamer and sugar on a spray dried. Okay, so then, let's go for that chocolate protein drink. It has 36 grams of sugar for 12 grams of protein. That's a 3 to 1 ratio. Now for the granola with milk and blueberries. You always want to shake it around and get that oxygen absorber out. You can add hot or cold water. I'm going to opt for hot.
You can add two to four ounces. I'll usually add about three or four. Look at the color of that milk. It's like blue. I love blue. It's actually purple, but. Then the patriotic sugar cookies. Okay, so while the main course is still rehydrating, let's check out the patriotic sugar cookies. What makes them patriotic? You got the bell, the flag, and the torch. Statue of Liberty, American flag, oh yeah. Now these are some patriotic sugar cookies. Let's try one out. They're very light and airy. You know what they remind me of? It tastes like those McDonald's kids meal sugar cookies. Give you a little taste of home. Lightly sweet with a little bit of shortening, a nice airy crunch. Very simple and I'm gonna follow it up some Bill's coffee. This is pretty much identical in specs to coffee and some type two. It's very smooth with a very light acidity and I mean extremely smooth. No bitterness. Followed up with some chocolate protein drink. We've checked this out before. Oh yeah, and there's nothing different about it. It's an overly sweet, slight chemical kind of chocolate flavor. It tastes cheap and overbearing with sugar. I'm just going to finish this up real quick. That's the thing to do. You just down it real fast. All right, so let's check out the main course. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And it just smells like I'm at a continental breakfast at a halfway decent hotel. You smell the, the hash browns, the, the peppers, and that sausage. And it, it's a really nice, comforting smell. Let's stir it up a little bit. Perfectly rehydrated. Tricky thing with any of the breakfast menus, they only require eight ounces of water instead of 16 to fully rehydrate. And a lot of times you add too much water and you got soupy eggs. I'm gonna try this out on its own first. Get a little bit of everything there. Green and red bell pepper, scrambled eggs, sausage, and hash browns. On its own, it has very nice flavor, but it's slightly lacking in sodium. Although this is a cold weather ration, you don't want to have too high of a sodium content. A 24 hour set of the MCW has about five grams of sodium. You don't want soldiers dehydrating in an Arctic climate. It's easy to do. So you get the tortillas and that cheese spread. This on its own, it's not bad. The, the sausage and the peppers have the most flavor. The, the eggs and hash browns, that's just very subtle in flavor. Perfect new addition to the Meal Cold Weather menu lineup. They only had two different varieties of breakfast before. It was the scrambled eggs with bacon and scrambled eggs with ham, western style. I don't want to make this tortilla too fat. I'll be spilling out the sides. Oh yeah, the hot sauce. Look at that. Hmm. Tasting this hot sauce on its own, very similar to Tabasco. Maybe a little bit more spicy and less vinegar. Now for that cheese. Dan the man off Emory Info sold me this ration. He sold me a whole case of MCW's 2018s. We'll be checking out a 24 hour set very soon. Dan the man, that guy's so cool. Hence his name. He really is the man. So let's put on that cheese.
do up the other real quick and then just have some of the breakfast skillet on its own. You know, in cold weather, an Arctic climate, you'd probably want to keep your breakfast skillet all in the, the pouch, you know, and then roll up one tortilla at a time. Because if you did both at once, by the time you get to your second one, it'd be ice cold. Safe to assume. All right, this one's a little bit bigger. That's all right. All right, let's try this out. Whoa, this is a masterpiece right here. I mean, a breakfast skillet and a tortilla. And the eggs, they're not watery or anything. Didn't add too much water. You gotta be careful with that. The hot sauce has a really mild kick, but it just takes the breakfast skillet from something that's very subtle and brings it to the next level. You notice the accessory packet does not have iodized salt. And you'll find that in cold weather rations. The RCW is the same thing. There was no salt packet. You know, they don't want guys dehydrating in Arctic climates, so they're going to do whatever they can, reducing sodium, increasing the drinks. And this one only had two drinks, but a lot of these meal cold weathers, you'll have, you know, a beverage base, a coffee, and sometimes like a second coffee. You know, like you get your coffee, an accessory packet, then an Irish cream, cappuccino, and then a beverage base all in the same ration. But this one here was a little bit different. You only got the coffee and the chocolate protein drink. This is amazing. Try some more on its own, but with the cheese and hot sauce. I mean, whoever came up with this menu at Natick, they were on to something. Right here, this is almost like the chicken burrito bowl, but for the meal cold weather, instead of being a lunch and dinner menu, it's, you know, a breakfast. I still haven't even tried the granola with milk and blueberries yet. I'm just going to finish this while it's still nice and hot. That can cool down and it's fine. This is one of the best U.S. rations currently in service. This is definitely one to look for. Bill's Brew. It's just as good as Coffee Instant Type 2. It's right here. I'm going to finish this up real quick. Man, that's really filling too. So then the granola with milk and blueberries. This thing... This is like perfectly hydrated now. That is such a great side item for a ration. The flavor of the blueberries is prevalent. I mean, look at how many little freeze-dried blueberries they give you. It has a light flavor of coconut. And you can taste that with every bite. So like a light coconut undertone skim milk with I think a little bit of actual cream added back in. And then blueberries, and just a really nice granola. I really like that I've left it, you know, hydrating the whole time. It really softened it up. It just gives it a different consistency. I mean, you could add two ounces of water to it and eat it immediately. It'll be pretty crunchy. Or you can add four ounces, let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes. It's not mushy. It's really easy to eat. Finish up these cookies. Now that was a perfect breakfast. I mean, the weakest component, just like MRE pizza, the chocolate protein drink, and really even that, it's not too bad to finish off with this gum. Just a light peppermint flavor, not a bad palate cleanser. So that was a 2018 data production meal cold weather breakfast skillet. The meal cold weather, a fantastic cold weather ration that's been in service for just over 14 years now, and I see it being in service for many more years to come. This thing, it's near perfection. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. All right, cool. See ya.